been doing unboxing for a little while. A little while, yeah. You know what we haven't done yet? An unboxing before a set has come out. We, Wouldn't that be cool? That would be very cool to do. Well, then you should thank WizKids. Because they sent us Heroes in a Half Shell very early, and I'm super pumped because I love my Ninja Turtles. So, gravity, we got ourselves a gravity feed ahead of time. Thank you, WizKids. Uh, display, or full disclosure, uh, this is brought to you in part by WizKids, or brought to you fully by WizKids as they have provided us with the product for this unboxing and ahead of schedule, which is fantastic news for us. So, We've already, being efficient this week, split up the packs. Yep. So it's time for us to get cracking some Gravity Feed foil packs of the Ninja Turtles. So, what do you say, Amber? Are you ready to rock? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So my first pack, we got ourselves woo, a Triceraton. Uh, those of you familiar with the series will know that this is a race of Triceratopses, alien Triceratopses that invade Earth. Uh, and this is representative of one of the ones from 1984. Uh, <laughs> so I actually have to read up still on the 1984 series. I know it's a little bit more uh, intense than the cartoons we're, we're familiar with. Um, but he does have a special defense power. Triceraton can use toughness and takes a maximum of two damages from attacks. Uh, and that's on a 65 point character on his first three clicks. That is awesome. That's, that is a 65 point click power. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> So I'm super excited for that one. Uh, so Amber, what'd you pull in yours? Uh, I have the Michelangelo. Oh, sorry. I went to oh check my gosh, excuse was. me. Try that again. You gotta... <laughs> I have Michelangelo. This time without burping. Yeah. Um, from the 80s. And uh, he has a trait, party dude. When Michelangelo or another friendly character with the TMNT keyword makes an attack, attack rolls of 11 are also critical hits. And he has movement power with the dolphin symbol. Uh, sewer skating. If Michelangelo is indoors, he can use hypersonic speed. If he's outdoors, he can use sidestep. Cool. He is a party dude, after party all. Dude. <laughs> yeah. All right, get that into the camera. Give him a look. Let him see that dial. All right. Yeah. Michelangelo there. So, my first one. Mr. Donatello. And you know what Donatello does? Machines. <laughs> In fact, according to his treat, give Donatello a power action. When he's adjacent to an object or a character holding an object. Remove that object from the game, and all friendly characters with the TMNT keyword modify their attack values by plus one until one of those characters hits an opposing character. Then he's got special damage power. Donatello can use a wit when he does roll d6. On five to six, he can use a wit a second time this turn, targeting the same character. Nice. Outwit twice is always very, very neat if you can pull it off. I mean, the way I see it, 60 points for a character without wit that eh, has a little bit of oomph to him. Uh, is neat. Ability to use our wit as a second time would be a cherry on top. So, yeah. All right. What do you What do you got, Amber? All right. Well, continuing on with our uh, '80s Ninja Turtles here, <laughs> I have the Leonardo, and he leads. <laughs> uh, Leonardo can use leadership. When he does and succeeds, modify the defense value of one friendly character with the TMNT keyword by plus one until your next turn. And he also has the twin katanas which is his attack uh, special power. Leonardo can use Blaze Claw's Fangs. When he does, he may instead roll 2d6 and choose one as the result. Hmm. So you get the better result of 2d6 on Blaze Claw's Fangs. That's a little bit more reliable as far as Blaze is concerned. That's true. Because I'm terrible at rolling individual dice, so <laughs> give me two chances and I'll do terrible twice, but at least I get to choose a better one, right? <laughs> <laughs> and hope they're not both ones. All right! I got a squirrelinoid! Yes! <laughs> All right. A mutant, <laughs> giant mutant squirrel uh, happens to have a special power that gives it a special movement power. It gives it charge, flurry, and stealth. Um, it's 60 points, and it's got a lot of powers on that. This is it's such a shape change, too. No one expects a cute squirrel to cause trouble. I wish I could do a better uh, impression of Beast Boy and Michelangelo so that I could actually pull out the voice, because he's the one who always names him in this series. Yeah. All right, let's get a good look at the squirrel annoyed. He's a, he's a, he's a pretty one. All right, Amber, he's got a face only a mother could love. <laughs> I got Rocksteady. Rocksteady. All right, well, Rocksteady has a treat. Uh, was I supposed to be doing? What was I supposed to be doing? Uh, what was I supposed to be doing? <laughs> uh, if a friendly character named Shredder is on the map, Rocksteady can use willpower. Friendly characters named Shredder or Bebop can use empower. 
but only to modify a character's name Bebop or Rocksteady. I need the second trait, miss it by that much. Once per turn, when Rocksteady misses an attack, put a Mutant Moron token on this card. Give Rocksteady a free action and remove two Mutant Moron tokens to remove all action tokens from another friendly character that shares a keyword. Those keywords being the Foot Clan, TMNT Villain, Animal, or Brute. Very cool. All right, now I got one of the Foot Ninjas. Uh, this one's armed with a guitar. It looks a little different. Oh, it's because it's the 1984 comic series, uh, Foot Ninja. Uh, he has a movement, special movement power, 500 years of foot tradition. Uh, foot Ninja can use sidestep and stealth. And then he's got uh, his weapon power, of course, this is his attack power. The Katar, penetrating dagger. Bl uh, foot, uh, foot Clan can use blades, claws, fangs. When Foot Ninja, uh, or sorry, Foot Ninja can use blades, claws, fangs. When Foot Ninja makes a close attack while occupying hindering terrain, the damage dealt is penetrating. I'm picturing something from Assassin's Creed now where he's hiding in the haystack and all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that imagery is so cool. So check out a 30 point foot ninja. What do you got, Amber? I have Slash. Wow. And this is from the uh, 2012. Surprisingly not as heavy as I was expecting him to be. Um, and he has a movement power, throwing my weight around. Slash can use charge and prove movement, breakthrough blocking. And uh, he has a damage power, just you and me against the world, Wrath. Slash can use close combat expert and empower. And he has a unique modifier, adjacent friendly characters named Raphael. Modify their attack and defense values by a plus one. And he also Im uh, ignores hindering for movement. The, uh, the story of that is that used to be Raph's pet turtle that got mutated into Slash. <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right. All right. So in this pack, ooh, that's a pretty one. <gasps> it is not a tell him. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like, and yeah. So they put the 2011 comic series uh, here, and the first oh, one I've got so here good. is Donatello. That's very, very so actiony. And he's got a trait, Turtle Power. Donatello can use Stealth and Toughness. Improved Movement ignores Hindering and Elevated Terrain. Uh, and then he's got Ride the Bow as his attack power. When Donatello hits an opposing character, after action is resolved, you may place that character within Donatello's range and line of fire. Uh, then he's got Keen, Keen Turtle Intellect. At the beginning of your turn, choose, and this is his damage power, choose one, Outwit, Perplex, or Support. Donatello can use a chosen power until your next turn. And, oof. He's got that on his first two clicks. It's 100 points on these turtles. So these are these are probably the more expensive turtles as far as what you're getting. Uh, interesting little choice. Uh, give you guys a good look at it. Uh, and Amber, what do you got next? I have... Splinter. Splinter. From the 80s cartoon, yes. Yes. And uh, he's unique. And a rare, I believe. That's rare? Yes, yeah. that silver background. Yeah. Uh, and he has a damage power, Rat No More. Splinter can use Shape Change. If Splinter has been attacked, that opponent's force can't make attacks this turn. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, Come at me, bro. That's, wow. Attack me, I, I dare you. I dare do, you. Do they have to hit? Has been attacked. Has been attacked. So you don't have to attack, hit. Oh, check that defense. What? <laughs> awesome. It's actually pretty difficult. Yeah, let's get him, go get him out of this here. I'll keep my Donatello's away from everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. My next one, also from the 87 cartoon series, Casey Jones. Uh, so Casey Jones has body check or slap shot as his special damage power. Uh, give Casey Jones a free action and choose close combat expert or range combat expert. Casey Jones can use the chosen power until you choose again. Uh, wow, and he comes in at 60 points. It, this is one of those situations where it's really hard to uh, compare to the original one that we got. Uh, well, the 30, 30 point, point one. one was just so good. So good. So good. <laughs> but look at what you get for that 60 point dial. Uh, and Amber, carry on the next figure. I have Raphael from the 80s animated, and he is a cool but crude guy. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, and he has a trait. Raphael can use Battle Fury and Shape Change. 
And uh, he has an attack power, Lock Blades. Raphael can use Blaze Claw's fangs. Adjacent opposing characters can't use Blaze Claw's fangs. My power, <laughs> not yours. Only I can. So he's not really at risk of Blaze. He's the kind of guy you want to charge in if you see Blades. So that, yes. you know, they can't, they, like, because it yeah, can't use it, it's a non-counter, right? That's true. Yeah. yeah, it's not ignoring it. It's not outwitting it. It is can't use. Well, I got another... Ninja Turtle from the 2011 comic series. Mm. It looks like these two are rares. Donatello was a rare, this one's a rare. So I'm wondering if uh, Michelangelo and Raphael are going to be super rares in this set. Because that happened with the 2012 Turtles in the first set. Anyway, so Leonardo also has Turtle Power trait, which is Stealth and Toughness. Uh, and then he's got the Improved Movement, Ignores Elevated and Hindering as well. Born to Lead, Groom to Succeed is his special damage power. Uh, Leonardo can use Leadership. When he does, increase the result by plus one. For each adjacent friendly character with the Team NT keyword. Uh, oof, another 100 point character, but this is this is a stat line I can get behind, man. Oof. Oof. Uh, let's let everybody else get a good look at those. Well, Amber, you tell me what you got. I got Shredder. <laughs> this is the original comic series Shredder. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, he is unique. Uh, he has a trait there, Thermite Grenade. When Shredder is KO'd for an attack, deal three penetrating damage to all characters within three squares, and on the same elevation of the square he last occupied. Uh, his defense ability there, you cannot beat me even four to one. Shredder modifies his defense value by plus one for each opposing character within three squares. And a damage ability, head of the New York branch of the foot, Shredder can use leadership. When he does and succeeds, instead of removing one action token, remove an action token from up to two adjacent friendly characters with the foot clan keyword regardless of point value and he comes in at 50 points very very cool figure and his sculpt is so pretty yeah so it, the world is should be glad that he's just a unique yeah <laughs> or he is a unique rather not just a unique all right and we got the lady in the yellow jumpsuit miss april o'neill there we are in the big one piece coveralls uh so She's got this, the world needs to know your crimes. The world needs to know seems to be that power that's named for most reporter characters. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the beginning of your turn, you may choose an opposing character within four squares and a line of fire. Until your next turn, that character subtracts two from a breakaway of rules. That's pretty, pretty cool effective power. Uh, and she's got some support. She's 25 points. She's got that special power on uh, her attack for all four of her clicks. So a good little support piece, to say the least. All right, and if you want to keep guys tied down to your turtles, because the turtles are generally close combat focused, right? True. All right, what do you got? Um, I've got. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> Is that a Krang subprime? It's a Krang subprime. <laughs> <laughs> what if Irma was in the set? I didn't think they were gonna do that. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, so if you guys saw <laughs> the preview for Irma, this is actually what's inside Irma. This is what happens after the stop click. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's got a booklet. Okay, so she has a trait, uh, non-essential parts. Once per game, when Krang subprime would take damage, you may instead place an autonomous head bystander as described Excuse on this me. card within three squares and line of fire. When he does, modify his attack by minus one for the rest of the game. And uh, he has movement power, multiple tentacles. Krang subprime can use force blast, plasticity, and running shot. And he ignores, uh, for improved targeting, he can shoot into shoot, base, it looks Shoot like. into base. Yeah. It is the infinity symbol. Yeah, it's for the sharpshooter. It's part of sharpshooter. Yeah, uh, without the line through it. He is indomitable. He is a giant. And the head... Uh, has sidestep, super senses, outwit, and is tiny. And is indomitable. Oh, and is indomitable. Indomitable head. Oh my gosh. It's 160 points, but this this is just. Oh. <laughs> so excited. I had no idea this was in this set. This is awesome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, what a convenience. Turn of events. Oh, look at that. Irma. It's that's just Irma. It's just <laughs> uh, her trait, Irma, question mark, 
Uh, if Irma has 25 points, if she's KO'd and she crosses the red KO line. If Irma is 60 points, she's not KO'd when she crosses the red KO line. I'm not going to subject you guys to my terrible Gilbert Godfrey impression, though yeah, I really wanted to do it for that. No. Um, but she's got a special defense power, uh, Hidden Crank Prime, or Hidden Crank Subprime, that one. <laughs> uh, stop! Irma can use Invulnerable. Uh, invulnerability, rather. Uh, that's just Irma. Is her damage power? Irma can use perplex. It doesn't block like friendly lines of fire. So that's super cool. That's Human shield. Irma. That's uh, just now Irma. that I know that the the crank subprimes in the set, I almost wish she had a trait that would go from that one to that one. That would be so cool. All right, what do you got? Uh, I have some throwing stars. I have <laughs> <laughs> a uh, foot ninja shuriken. Uh, it has the movement power, the 500 years of foot tradition. Foot ninja can use sidestep and stealth. And its attack power, shuriken weapon of distraction, is a unique modifier. When foot ninja hits with a range attack, hit characters modify their attack and defense values by minus one until your next turn. And the movement is uh, improved movement, ignore hindering. Yeah, I think they all have improved movement, ignore hindering with the uh, with foot soldiers along with that stealth sidestep. Stealthy, uh, stealthy ninja. You know, 30 points, what you get for those guys, they can oftentimes bring it a little harder than you'd expect it to be. So, very cool thing going on with that. Uh, uh, all right. So, my next pack, also a foot ninja. This one's got the three segment staff. Uh, once again, the special power where he's got sidestep and stealth. Uh, special uh, spe improved movement as well. And the special attack is a three segment staff. We give Foot Ninja a power action, make a close attack targeting up to three adjacent opposing characters. Hit characters are each dealt one damage instead of normal damage and given one action token. Uh, that's pretty cool, neat little effect. So, Ninja. Oh. Uh, now I pulled our, our first double. This is another one of the Michelangelo from the 80s cartoon. No, right. And I got Bebop! So, what, my part of the plan was what? If a friendly character named Shredder is on the map, Bebop can use Willpower. Friendly characters named Shredder or Rocksteady can use Enhancement, but only to modify characters named Bebop or Rocksteady. Uh, did I screw up again? <laughs> Once per turn, when Bebop misses an attack, put an Incompetent Idiot token on this card. Give Bebop a free action and remove two Incompetent Idiot tokens to heal another friendly character shares keywords to clicks. And that's uh, Foot Clan, TMNT, a villain, animal, and brute keywords. The Bebop! <laughs> All right, what do you got next? Uh, I have, ooh, Chen, Chen, Chen Khan. Khan. Come on, work on your French and <laughs> <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> uh, these from the 80, uh, 80s comic series. He has an attack power, sacrificial dagger. Shan Khan can use blades, claws, fangs, and steal energy. When Shan Khan KOs an opposing character, after actions resolve, heal him two clicks. All right, very All right. good. Uh, he has damage power, open a gate to the world of the Oni. Once per game, when Shan Khan KOs an opposing character, after actions resolve, you may place a Noi Tai Dar, Great Oni, <laughs> By standard, as described on this card in the KO'd character square, I apologize for butchering that name, by the way. Uh, so the Noi Tai Dar Great Oni is a bystander. It has 10 movement phasing, 11 attack psychic blast, 18 defense with impervious and indomitable, 3 damage, close combat expert, and is colossal. She's not making this up. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Pretty neat little guy, and he's only 75 points with a once per game pop out a colossal in your face. That is a weird looking, that's an interesting dial for a 75 point character. I can't wait. We let the, let the fans get a look at that under the camera, because that's going to be, this is going to be a character all right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and let's pop him out of his little blister yeah. here. While you do that, yeah, puppy. I get to announce that the last pack I get to open does contain another Casey Jones. Uh, who we've already seen it earlier. Alright, so that means, ooh, this is our last pack, which has, uh, if I can get it open here, a foot ninja, a uh, twin katanas. And uh, it has the foot ninja tradition trait, or the uh, movement <laughs> power. 
And his attack power, Twin Katana's Foot Ninja, can use Blaze Claws Fangs. When he does, he may instead roll 2d6 and choose one as the result. So it's the same as the... Leonardo. Leonardo. That's the word I'm looking for. So... Overall, I'm really, really excited to see what else is packing in the set. I want to see what the Michelangelo and uh, Raphael from the 2011 comic series uh, look like. I want to see what the chases look like, because we did pull a super rare. Um, we do have to get our hands on a Ranit Tilly still, uh, and find out, I guess, whatever... Is it two super rares? Was there two super rares in the first set? There's uh, four was chases. Krang and... The two, two of the turtles. And I don't remember. Okay, we're gonna have to go back and look at that again. We'll figure uh, it out. But ultimately, we still have to. I mean, obviously, we we have some collecting to do, and we will do it when the set is actually out. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for now, this was a great preview of the set. Yeah. We got to see figures that we had no idea were gonna be in here. <laughs> you, you got that uh, eyes off of my Donnie. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to make a team of Donatellos. By the way. Led by a Leonardo <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> for leadership roles. I want all of the Squirrelanoids. I want an entire team of <laughs> Squirrelanoids. Uh, I want to once again take a chance to thank WizKids for providing us with this case, with this box ahead of time. Um, WizKids, who also make the shirts that we've uh, been wearing yeah. today. And if you would like an awesome shirt like me and Jason are wearing today, you can go to uh, WizKids.com and check out their merch store. And they have a lot of different designs, and they're all awesome. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want a shirt, it's okay. It's a whiz. It's a it's a hero clicks thing. You probably wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get dig into these guys deep. Oh, yeah. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>